Hi, I'm Jennifer Davenport. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to make a beautiful Christmas tree topper. So let's get busy. So today I want to show you two different types of Christmas tree toppers. The first one's going to be a bow. Love it. Uh, very easy to do. And the way I do it is I make two bows and then I attach it to the tree and it's going to look like it goes all the way around the top of the tree. And I'll show you how I do that in just a minute. But let me talk about my ribbon. Love ribbon. The first one is white, and this one uh, kind of looks like it mimics birch, which kind of goes with the theme of my flocked tree. The second one, a little bit thinner, in the color platinum. One of my favorite colors to use for Christmas because it's in between the gold and silver, so whatever ornaments you put on the tree, it just goes beautifully with it. So let me show you how I make the bows. Now you can make a bow and tie it together with wire, but I really like to use ribbon. And so I'm going to cut a piece off of this platinum ribbon, about 12 inches. And I'm going to set that aside and begin making my bow. Now, your first loop when making your bow, that's going to determine how big your bow is. And you want to mimic that. That's your pattern and keep going. So I'm going to twist it over and make another loop like that. And now, before I begin that fourth one, I'm going to pull some of this platinum in and I'm going to make two loops the same way. Keep it tight in the middle. And I tell you, getting wired ribbon, it's so forgiving. So if you don't feel like you got each bow exactly right, don't worry about it till you're finished tying off your bow and then you can straighten it. I like to do three loops on each side in each ribbon. All right, there we go. Now, I'm going to trim the ribbon off. You're going to take the narrow ribbon, wind it around. When you tie your bow, tie it really, 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 really tight, as tight as you can get it. Then we're going to trim the longer tails. Now I've got two tails like this, so I kind of like to trim mine at an angle like it is here, but I'm going to go just a little bit shorter to match the other tail. For those of you who have already seen my Christmas bow making video, this is old news, but if you're new to my channel and you really want an in-depth video on how I make bows, I will put a link in my description below. So let me make my second bow. So once I've done making uh, my two bows, I usually look at them and decide which one I think is the prettiest one because I'm going to put the one I think is not as pretty on the back of the tree. So we're going to, all right, I'm going to start with this one and I'm going to put it on the back of the tree. Now I like to put the bow a little bit far down on the stem of the tree. See, I like to have a little bit of it showing at the top. So right here where it's a little bit narrow, that's where I'm going to add my bow. And because you cut enough of that ribbon, you can just tie it right onto the tree. And don't worry about tying it in a knot. It'll, it'll stay on there. Come to the side where you've tied the bow on the back and the front. Pull your loops together. And this is how you make it look like one continuous bow. And pull the tails down a little bit. And I always want to kind of twist your ribbon so your pretty part of that ribbon shows. Tuck your tails in. Now that turned out to be a beautiful Christmas bow tree topper. Now, however, if you would like to have a tree topper with more elegance, more drama, and more height, that is what I'm going to show you how to do next. So here's what I'm going to use to create an elegant tree topper with some height. I'm going to use two branches, uh, glitter branches with some snow on them, and I'm going to use three stems of these white glittery leaves that goes really well with the theme of my tree and my ribbon. I am going to have to snip them because they're a little long, but real quick, this is easy to do, but there's two things to consider. It's about placing them correctly and not adding too many because you can go from elegant to huge hot mess really fast. Let me show you how I added them to the tree. All right, normally these stems are extremely hard to clip. I feel like I had to lift weights to do them. And sometimes if you just take a little snip out at a time and then twist it, that's the key is twisting it. 
and then you'll get it snipped. I'm going to start with the branches first. They're going to be my center of this. I've already got one in, so all you got to do is just kind of tuck it in the top of the tree. Okay, now I'm going to add the little white glitter leaves. I'm going to stick them in as well, just like I did the branches, but I want them to be lower than the glitter branches. The third one and the last one. And after I get this one in, then I'm going to kind of fluff them. Now I'm just going to kind of fluff everything. Pull the leaves out so you can see them and make sure my branches are straight. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe to my channel because we're going to have more coming out shortly. Also, if you're ever in the Middle Tennessee area, come visit me at JD's All About Home in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I'd love to meet you. Well, until my next video, may the glittering begin. So glad you... What do I want to say after Jennifer Dunford? I don't even know. Who cares? <laughs> Let me show you how I added them to the tree. You're my tummy girl in that one. <laughs> you want to clip that out? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jennifer Davenport. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful Christmas topper. So welcome to my channel. <laughs> what? <laughs> you got this, Mama. You oh gotta start over.